Hey guys, Tim here, and welcome to another tutorial. And in this one, I'm going to teach you how to make an album cover, or you can use it for your video game cover, or your cover for pretty much anything you made. Maybe you made a documentary and you need a little, um, like a square cover for the app store or something like that you know maybe for your app you need a cover so covers work for pretty much all kinds of purposes but for this tutorial I'm just gonna be kinda focusing on like maybe you maybe you uh, are releasing a song or or an album so I got a picture Wikipedia is your friend if you want some really old pictures um, like if they're like over I don't know what exactly it is so don't quote me but if it's like a hundred years old or a couple hundred years old it's like not subject to any kind of like you know copy rules and stuff like that so that's why I recommend really like Wikipedia is really good for finding stuff and also if you just like Google really old stuff you can find stuff like this picture right here uh, which I'm gonna drag it onto GIMP and open it up and this is a picture of like Queen Victoria from like 9 or 1840 or something like that 1844 um, so what I'm gonna do is um, get the selection tool right here rectangle select and you can see that you can change it from R to E if you want to go to the ellipse but it's already on a rectangle which is what we want so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of start over here where G E G L operation so let me go back over here I didn't I wasn't selected so here we go and I'm gonna drag it down and the thing is, is I'm just only going to get like the queen in here. Okay, so let's just kind of zoom out. And we'll just crop her out of here. And we want it to be a perfect square. So um, you can see that over here the width is 438 and the height is 402. And that's just from me looking at it. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of make those numbers the same and I'll just like pick something nice and easy like 400 400 and so I'm going to type that in and now I have a square and let me just kind of crop her and actually I'm going to go a little bit tighter I'm going to go down to like 370 there was a little bit too much extra space in the top so let's do um, 370 by 370 okay and I'm gonna click inside my box um, and then hold and drag it where I want okay so that's pretty good and now what we're gonna do is gonna go to image crop to selection because we made a selection now we're going to crop to that selection and let's go ahead and like zoom in I'm going to just go to here and click 100% view and that's pretty good but I would like to kind of start off by making it like 800 by 800 because it's better if you start with a large photo so when you're doing your searches like in Google image searches um, filter out for the large images if you want something really high res I don't really care in fact I actually want it to look a little bit more low res because that's just kind of the effect I'm going for um, is kind of old and you know not exactly high quality you know but um, that's how old stuff is it's like they didn't have like it was probably a painting anyway <laughs> but uh, 800 by 800 and then I'm gonna hit scale and now we're working with 800 by 800 and you can um, 
start with a high-res photo and most of the time that's what you want to do but I'm working on an album cover and when you're working on something nostalgic and old like this it's almost better to just have something like lower res it just it just I don't know it's just more moody and more nostalgic if you're doing something really modern what you'll want to do is start with a high res image so when you take a picture just start with the large image and then reduce the size to what you need so once I have this if you want to sharpen it up go to filters um, enhance sharpen and you can see how that made it look a little bit sharper a little bit more grainy um, the main thing I usually change here is the radius and uh, but you can you can um, decrease or increase the amount in the threshold but the main thing I do is just I highlight the radius and then I put in what I want so like I'm just gonna back it back it off down to like one and let me show you like um, a split view see the difference um, so you got and let me do something a little bit more dramatic so you can see the difference but um so there is like something a little bit more and actually I like that uh, I'm gonna back off just a little bit maybe do like a 1.5 and hit OK so now we have like our base image I think that she's interesting to look at and so we're gonna I'm gonna make a new layer I'm gonna go down to like layer new layer I'll call this the background and drag it underneath here these are your layers okay this is your layer tab this is your tool uh, options tab these are the only two tabs I use 90% of the time um, in the layers you want to make sure your layers are in the right order you can drag them and move them wherever you want we only have two layers to begin with so um, and I kind of want like a money type color so I'm gonna just kind of click on my foreground color and I'll show you this is your foreground and your background color see and you can reverse them by hitting this little double arrow thing boom 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 and you can um, so this is my foreground and the one in the back is the background so you're usually working with your foreground color and I'm gonna click on it and then I'm gonna kinda just go around and see how we're getting to these and if you want to know like see the neon green on the here's the scale you got you got like fuchsia you got red and then you got you can drag it down through blues and greens go down to like right around here and I'm gonna get like a money color something like that hit OK and then I'm gonna get my bucket fill tool and click on the background layer and then just go ahead and left click inside the picture and now it's right there and I'll show you by making the queen invisible so there it is and then um, what I'm gonna do is now is I'm gonna go to the to the queen layer and we'll just go ahead and rename her the way you rename a layer is right click on the layer and then go to edit layer and then we'll just call her queen and now what I'm going to do is click on the mode and this is where you can do some cool stuff like I'll just show you real quick like like burn this is what burn does it's really dark on this on this uh, particular image but a uh, difference um, grain merge grain merge is kind of neat um, a lot of times you'll want to do like a soft light or even a um, even like a hard light or maybe vivid here's hard light so just mess around and change the modes that's one of like the first really fun things whenever you get into GIMP is like checking out like what the different modes do so and it varies based on the colors you're working with but um overlay is or overlay and merge are pretty much gonna be a couple of your um, like all-star modes and also multiply can be neat um, but uh, here's overlay and that's pretty cool now I have another texture over here it's like a money texture 
and let me double click and show you and I'm gonna go ahead and import that and how you do that is you go to file open as layers and I'm gonna click on money texture and then hit open and there we go and it's and it's in there and you can see the um, the dotted line way out here that's how big the file is and I don't want to reduce it because I kind of like how big it is so I'm just gonna go to image um, layer where is it oh, layer layer to image size okay and and the thing is is you can do the same type of thing with this layer and every layer that you add so like watch I'll go to overlay and you can see it's it overlaid it over the queen who is overlaid over the green and we can also reduce the opacity of anyone we want like I'll reduce the opacity of the queen and basically the green will show through more and now it's actually starting to look like um, old money because there's kind of like a um, a screening effect like there's a 10% screening effect because I'm on 90% opacity for her which leaves 10% left but never mind just fiddle with the numbers and you can find cool effects but uh, one thing I'm gonna do is once and now you can see that whenever I did that layer to image size what happened is those dotted lines went and they became the same size as the canvas for everything else so one thing I want to kind of do is um, this little um, texture that we just added I want to kind of ingrain it into the actual photo a little bit and make it look more natural like it belongs together so the way we'll do this is um, go to filters go to map and then go down to displace and then for your auxiliary inputs click click on the first one and we'll make it the money texture okay so double click that and then go to the other one and then we'll make that one like the queen then we'll start uh, raising the displacement values so go ahead and just start increase the number and you can already see that it's having an effect and I like that right there see how the, see how it goes up into her neck and then it kind of like it recognizes a different pattern like with her cheeks and her chin and everything and it just kind of like starts working into um, the existing shapes and colors of that so like I'll increase it wow and see how it like kind of fades out like you can see like how it's like going into her cloth over here um and then it's kind of like it worked its way in uh that's really neat right there that actually almost looks like it's from an old english banknote or something like that uh, let me see if, what happens when i keep going so it's kind of dissolving the original more and um that's really cool and this is how you do it like you just experiment until you find stuff you like um that's that's pretty cool and then i'm gonna back off just a little because i want the original just a little bit stronger i want to see those dark greens in there a little bit more more texture just makes it a little bit more interesting and i'm gonna hit okay that's pretty cool right there um by the way when you do like a bunch of steps like this you want to save your work go to file save as I'm gonna save mine on the desktop and just call this like um, the queen cover and then you don't have to do anything else just hit enter and it will automatically fill in dot X C F okay and I'll show you by deleting it blank and then just hit save and it automatically made the dot X C F and that is basically a GIMP project file so I could literally just close this whole thing out now and just double click on that project and it will open it up just like where we were with all the layers on the side and everything so and we can go back and make changes from what we were working on um, so I kind of like that I'm gonna back off the queen color a little bit more see if I what happens if I get a little bit more um, of that original background in there let me see 
I think I do like it more um, backed off a few more notches so that's looking a little bit more like money and that's kind of neat so I'm gonna go to my foreground color and I'm gonna pick like a light color I'm gonna drag this up here it's good to stay in the same um, the same little color basically when you're changing to like maybe because we're, we're gonna get ready to do a font right here and I like that bright green but we don't want to change so much that like we're just in a totally different color I mean we could if we want to start messing with complementary colors and all that but a lot of times like you just like we you can just kind of go to the same basic color a similar color and just brighten it up or darken it up um, and in this case I want to brighten it up and hit OK and go to your text and we will just kind of like start in the top left and drag to the bottom right and I'm just gonna type in something like um, Queens and I'm gonna go to the next line in Queens in cash. Yeah, like Queens in cash. Okay, and this is like a rap album if you didn't know. So, yeah, I, I do rap. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to like increase it. And this is looking pretty cool. Don't take my album cover or, you know, because like I just told you guys, but and my album isn't out yet. So please don't steal it before I can make a lot of money with it. But uh, anyway, I trust you guys. Oh, make sure you hit the like button, by the way. Okay, so increase the font size. I'm gonna like Ubuntu. So Ubuntu is a cool font. I'm gonna make a new video soon to teach you guys how to add a bunch of new fonts. Cause when you click in here, your original fonts are pretty cool. There's a lot of them, but a lot of these I added and um, because I like to use different fonts, and so I recommend you do the same. So I'll have a tutorial soon. Um, if you're subscribed, you'll see that. But uh, yeah, and I'll show you how to get free fonts. Like you'll get a bunch in here of new ones. So okay, I'm gonna keep on increasing the size, and I'm gonna left align it, and then I'm gonna basically space them out. And you can space out the letters right here. And I'll show you. It's a little too spaced out. No, oh, that's pretty good right there. I kind of like the queens getting, you know, brought all the way out to the right side. So let me just drag this out a little bit more. So I got it centered. Basically, I'm looking at this space right here from the left side of this letter. To the edge and then making it like the same as this one I'm just doing it by eye and um, that's pretty that's pretty close so I'm now like this one right here I'm spacing out the words so I'm trying to like bring cash out to the bottom and what I'm doing is like I'm looking at the top right here at this space from um, the top of the letter to the top edge of the canvas and I'm just like eyeballing it and making it about the same as the bottom one so I'm gonna keep on bringing cash down until it looks kind of even I don't care about perfection that much uh, I actually think it looks better when it's not perfect but um there we go a little bit more I don't want to cover her chin, so I'm going to gonna keep going here and raise this up. And now the Queens is not on her hair. And I'm going to keep going. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. And I could... I could definitely make like a million with this, but I think I'm going to do one more thing and like I'm going to go up here and um, I kind of want to like do a little bit more texture. So I want to add another texture over the top. So whenever you want to do anything in GIMP, it's good to keep everything on separate layers when you can. So I'm going to go make a new layer, layer to new layer. 
and then I'm just gonna call it like um, a new texture and this will be like the top texture you know so I'll just go like top texture and I'll hit OK and you might have multiple top textures and you can just do like texture one texture two so I'm gonna go ahead and open as layers file open as layers and I got another one here we go texture two and this one's a little bit small so I'm gonna like scale it up by right clicking over here and scale layer and I'm gonna make I can see it's not tall enough so I'm gonna make the height the same as the height of this um, canvas which is 800 and then it'll be and then hit scale okay and then I'm gonna fix the um, dotted lines on the outside like I showed you before by going to layer to image size okay and now we have this layer and I'm just gonna go to like try to like I'm gonna right click it and go to merge down and now it's on that layer I could have just renamed it and you know done it all at once but you know I was just kind of going with the flow and I got caught up in the emotion but um, I'm gonna right click on it now and try to go to like overlay and you can see like wow and this is why I was showing you like the modes are fun if you just like fiddling and check wow I see what you can make it's just fun you can you can spend like all day just sitting here changing the modes and like bringing in pictures and fonts and textures and I like it so um, now I could back off on the opacity and and I, I brought her eye back because um, it's not too dark there anymore. And I could, if I wanted to clear it up a little bit more, I could. But you can kind of see how you can get different. Oh, got a call. Oh, and just kind of doing that until I pretty much like it. So, and I like that. I'm going to kind of increase it a little bit. Go to, yeah, that's good. And now it has an extra texture and I'll click on the eye over here next to this layer to make it invisible and kind of show you before and after. And we can also try other modes like I'll show you soft light. I'll show you merge. Where's merge? Multiply. Let's try multiply. Um, grain merge grain merge does just what you would think and it really like shows the grain of the texture which I like that a lot too so I might go with that one I'm gonna change the opacity and see what I like I kind of like that right there Maybe go down to like 50%. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So anyway, and then whenever you get done, you get your cover however you like it. You're going to want to save. But go ahead and hit File Save because um, we want to make sure our project file over here that we created is saved. So if we exit it out, we can easily just go back and maybe make a change because maybe we just thought like, you know we wanted to change the name of our cover we can go back in there and we can change it you know because to whatever we want um, so but whenever you get done and you want your cover what you're gonna do is go to file export as desktop and then go to like queen cover png and then export and that's all it takes and then compression change it to zero and hit export and Here's our cover.